Some people ask me, AIX, why have you been talking about race lately? Why are you fixated on black and white lately? I'm not. I did a video last week because some girl said some wild, outrageous things. Me, as the individual I am, I feel bad for those who are not being seen. That's white, black, whoever. Me and the people like me are black, white, Mexican, Chinese, Filipino, Australian, German, Russian. We're from all over the world. We look at color as nothing. Color doesn't matter. And when people force it on us, rush it down our throats, people like me have to say something. And I know America's not perfect. But this is the only country I have. This is the only country I've ever had. Period. My entire life. This is it. I've been to def several different places. Different places. Several different places. I've been places. I've seen people. I've known people from all around the world. Not just because of YouTube. So, when I talk on a race, it's so there's a discussion. Because if a group of people don't like this group of people, don't like this group of people, based on an event that happened hundreds of years ago, then we need to analyze this and break it down so that it's not a problem. Once this is not a problem anymore, then there won't be any problems. And if we don't talk about what is dividing the people, the people will never get together to fix the problems of the country. In other words, I always say divide and conquer. We can't let, we cannot let America be conquered. See what I'm saying? We have been div divisive all of our lives. We've been underfoot all of our lives, but we've never been totally conquered. See what I'm saying? We have never been totally conquered in America. We're on the brink. And that's why the two major this that the United States of America was the whole world in itself. The country of white people and the country of black people are the two major superpowers in America. The country of Mexicans, the country of Chinese, so on and so forth, are smaller countries within America. But the two major countries in America, the blacks and the whites, are always feuding under the covers. There's words being tossed around and dishonesty and hate and these guys did this and these guys did that and da 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 all orchestrated by the power elite which are global. They don't just sit here in America and fuck us over. The power elite are global. So, here, we talk about race, so race is no longer a factor in the future. Young kids don't even care. It's just old people who have to run it and control it who actually deal with it. Because we know that all these other young people are so brainwashed that if you take the cell phone from them and tell them to call home, they probably won't even know their own home phone number. I'm serious. This is the United States of America. We used to walk around with little phone books. We used to, everybody used to have all their numbers in the phone book. Now we walk around with cell phones. You can find somebody who don't even have a phone service and they got a cell phone. See what I'm saying? We're teased and and little shiny things are placed in front of us and, and we want them. We as a people need to stop worrying about new clothes. Stop worrying about new TVs, new text messaging machines. We need to start focusing on educating our children to better our future. 
and the future of the United States has no place for a group of black people or a group of white people bickering and arguing over rich people controlling them. The two major factors in the United States of America have been so brainwashed and controlled that people hate us for no reason at all. We hate them for no reason at all. There's dislike for no reason at all. And there's one thing a lot of people do not understand in America. A police officer says his instincts tells us when a black person or a white person is doing crime. A police officer's instincts will always tell us when that young person or when that older, the white guy with the beard, you know, to look like a biker, when the black guy, you know, look like he might be a drug dealer. They have been taught, our police, to keep us separate. We're together, but separate. That is a problem in America. When the two strongest racial groups in the country can't even get along to make sure the whole entire country is fucking doing good. When the blacks and the whites can't get along, we all do bad. And that is why I talk about black people and white people. Because the black people have been lied to, the white people have been lied to. We believe this, they believe that. We be why are there two separate belief systems? And come on, man. Why? What's the purpose of two separate belief systems? What, what's the purpose of two judicial systems? Why do these people have to be arrested when these people don't? Why would this white guy with the DUI not go to jail and the black guy with the DUI go to jail? Things like that when the laws aren't even for equal people. If you see a guy who looks like a biker, they're going to automatically say, well, where do you work? Because I've seen this. I work construction. He can pay his fine. The guy looks like a biker, this is where you work. Well, I'm not working right now. Um, he's going to jail. The guy in the suit, same white guy. He's going to jail. The guy with the lawyer goes home. The guy who can pay goes home. And that's a problem in America. Because there's black guys, there's white guys, and the ones who tend to get screwed are the poor white guys and the poor black guys. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I always talk about. Because if we're in the same boat, then why am I fighting you when I need you to help me row this fucking boat? Why am I trying to destroy you when I need you to help me climb to the mountaintop? Why do you want to destroy me when you need me to help you live to tomorrow? See, these self-destructions that have been built in the black and white communities are pitiful. And then we have the media. They perpetuate everything. If the media hung around a bunch of white kids who did methamphetamines and listened to rock and roll all day, and if the media did this constantly, for like five years straight, every person who looks at a young white person would think that's all they're into is methamphetamine and rock and roll. Since the 60s, you've been seeing black crime that teaches black people to do crime. If you show something constantly, 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 you beat it into a group of people and then subconsciously they believe it. If you teach a bunch of people that they're stupid and less than constantly over the course of time in the back of their minds, they believe it. And it's time that everybody is treated equally. It's time that we stop teaching our kids to hate our parents. Stop teaching the kids to destroy their parents. Stop teaching the kids to, what's the word? Ignore the parents. Stop teaching the kids to destroy their parents. But as a whole, the United States is sick. But we're not sick because of the people. We're sick because of the people in control. Somebody said, we vote for the government we want. And like I said, we vote for the binds, for, for, the, for the change that bind us. We vote for that. So we've been tubed. 